I'm Primal Piggy. Thank you for joining me for another BDSM United podcast. Negotiating a relationship is similar to negotiating a scene. Both come after a potential partner is vetted. Uh, negotiations for a play scene are usually short conversations that happen before you meet for the actual play scene. However, negotiating a relationship is a series of longer conversations that happen when a couple decides to consider a power exchange dynamic. A couple or one or more people, depending on what type of relationship you're in. <laughs> this may happen before any play scenes occur or after a couple plays together several times. Uh, here's a list of things you should discuss with your partner during this time of negotiation. Of course, context matters. You may be able to skip some of these, especially if you've known your partner for a long time. In most cases, though, you'll still want to hit everything on this list. Before I hit the list, let me just briefly tell you that uh, or define vetting. Vetting is a process where we look for the inconsistencies between uh, who someone tells us that they are and who they really are. Um, oftentimes, we don't have, uh, we don't communicate a uh, truthful uh, picture or an all-encompassing picture of who we are, especially when we're trying to put our best foot forward when we're meeting new people. We're not necessarily trying to be de deceptive, although some people are. Uh, vetting uncovers all of it. And uh, it's uh, when we see an inconsistency, it's not necessarily a red flag that we should run the other way. It's seeking additional clarity so that we get a better picture of, of who the person is and whether we may or may not be compatible, whether we may want to end the relationship or end, uh, end contact or just put somebody in the friend zone, or whether we want to continue um, into the negotiation phase. And negotiations are, are pretty simple. It's a big word for basically conversations. Uh, again, short conversations, if you're just uh, doing a scene together or playing together, uh, but much longer conversations if you're looking to enter into a power exchange dynamic down the road or right now or um, just trying to take your relationship, uh, make your relationship um, at a deeper level of some type. So here are the things that you'll want to bring up within negotiations or within these conversations. Uh, identities. How does each of you identify? Do you simply identify as a top, maybe a bottom? Maybe you're a sub, a dom, a switch. Does your potential partner even know what these words mean? And uh, do, are you using these terms uh, uh, the same. Uh, do you both have the same understanding of what a top or a bottom, a sub or a dom or switch is? Do these identities complement each other or roles complement each other? Or is there going to be some wrangling for control? Uh, sexual contact. Will play involve sexual contact? What kind? Who's going to be penetrating whom, if anyone, and what contraception will be used, if even necessary? Uh, are you, have you gotten uh, an STI check recently? Does that matter to you? Are you going to be fluid bonded? Who are you already fluid bonded with? These are just some things you'll want to have conversations about so that you're on the same page. Consensual non-consent. Will the relationship or the play involved uh, involve consensual non-consent? If so, what safe words or gestures will be used? And um, oftentimes the traditional safe word is red or um, yellow and green, where you use something like that traffic light system. Uh, marks and bruises. Are marks 
and bruises acceptable? Where? How severe? Think about whether you're planning on going swimming or for a massage in the next few days before you breaking out something like a bullwhip, for instance. Um, aftercare. What might each of you need after a scene? How will these needs be met? Are you going to hang out and go for a milkshake afterwards? Or how does one or the other of you need to go, uh, you know, afterwards? Is, is anyone likely to want a blanket and some cuddles? Or maybe you don't want any aftercare at all. Maybe you just want to be left alone. Maybe you want to process a thing. Maybe you want them to check on you, but you want to process things alone. Uh, hard limits. Which acts will be avoided completely? If you don't like being anally fisted, uh, within this negotiated time, now is an excellent time to mention this and save yourself from that future awkwardness and perhaps the trauma. <laughs> uh, soft limits. Um, which acts will be approached with caution? Uh, if one of you might like something but isn't entirely convinced, are you going to explore that today or maybe stick it on a to-do list for another time? A medical history. What, uh, what medical history do you or your partner have? Um, what are you comfortable sharing about your medical history? This includes things like allergies, or prescribed medication, recreational drugs, injured joints, a vulnerable dental work, which may uh, prohibit you from using something like a gag, ongoing medical conditions, uh, and anything that has previously resulted in hospitalization. Really, the more you know, the more that you can accommodate for safety and, and mobility and uh, and just, you know, what level of risk awareness is necessary for the types of play that you're going to be doing. Uh, privacy. Will anyone other than the people involved be told about the scenes that you do? Do the two of you have any common friends or acquaintances? Um, oftentimes this is good for references, just so that you can get an idea, uh, of a better picture of who this person you're entering a relationship with is. Do either of you plan on mentioning what you're about to do to any of these friends or acquaintances? And, uh, of course, this was all a bit serious, wasn't it? I mean, that's cool. Um, negotiation can be functional and serious if that's what you want it to be. And sometimes that's actually pretty exciting. Um, sometimes just talking about things in a technical and a functional way can be kind of hot. Often, though, you may want to make it a little fun. Uh, so as well as hitting on these above points that I discussed, use this as an opportunity to discuss what turns you on, what turns your partner on, what kinds of fun you're about to have. Think of it as somewhat of a type of verbal foreplay. Um, here are a few ideas for bonus negotiation topics, um, things that may help it make it just a hint more fun and just a little bit less functional, perhaps. But orgasms, what makes you come? Find out what makes your partner come. Is, is having an orgasm important to one or both of you? And uh, is it something you have for dessert after play or something that you want to be an integral part of the scenes that you will enjoy? Uh, To-do lists. What are some things that you or your partner want to try in the near future? What are some elaborate or specific fantasies that you might be able to play out together? Um, attractions. Do you even find one another attractive? Um, if so, what is it about each of you that turns the other on? What was it that first attracted you to this potential partner? And if you don't find one another attractive, well, you know, you may want to skip this one, but maybe not. Maybe you just want to, um, uh, maybe you want to be upfront and honest and, and talk about why you may still want to play together or still be in a relationship together, even if uh, attraction 
uh, is not, you know, really um, important to you. Maybe it's not important at all. A past experience says, what are some scenes and acts that you've enjoyed in the past? And maybe share those stories, but be sensitive. You know, sometimes people, even when they're trying to enter a relationship, can feel a little jealous or maybe even a little shocked by what you've done. So, you know, um, be uh, sensitive on the details sometimes. Talk about that one time you ruined a perfectly good memory foam mattress, but it was totally worth it. Or talk about the things that you found unexpectedly hot in the past. Basically, negotiating a BDSM relationship looks a lot like negotiating a scene and negotiating a romantic relationship. A negotiation comes, or sorry, continues until an agreement is made between the submissive and, or the potential submissive and the potential dominant in a relationship. Compromises, accommodations, they, they may need to be made by both persons in order to reach that agreement. The agreement can be formalized into a written contract, or it can just simply be a verbal agreement between two partners that you've come to an understanding that you now know each other better and you're wanting to move forward in your relationship, however that may look. It's often helpful to have some portions, though, written down because oftentimes our memory isn't super good. It's hard to remember. Uh, we're Right now we're at the end of a year looking forward to a new year when this is being recorded and, uh, and, and, and posted, but it's hard to remember everything that I've done this past year. So it's good that I have some portions of my year written down. And so the same goes with negotiations. It's also helpful to make a, a three to a six month uh, training or temporary contract. Then sit down together and make something more long term. Uh, a little bit down the road, once you've gotten to know each other even better, uh, something a little bit more permanent, perhaps. Uh, I'm Primal Piggy. Thank you for joining me for this BDSM United podcast. You can find all of our re resources at www.bdsmunited.com. There's a joy bringing this to you. Whatever you do, don't have a lot of anxiety about the process of vetting process of negotiations and the process of contracts. Those are big, heavy, uh, loaded words a lot of times, and they come time, sometimes bring a lot of uh, anxiety to people, and they don't necessarily need to because it's just uh, finding out the truth about someone or trying to discover the truth about somebody and then moving into a time of conversations that hopefully lead to agreements uh, and that's what vetting negotiations and contracts are on their basis to terms. Um, it was a joy speaking with you today, and I'll talk to you again soon.